Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Single Dragon for the NES. This is Ron Morton, I'm a Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. Alright, we're at the final level. Everybody get ready! Oh yeah, woohoo! That's true. Oh, the there's two of them. Huh? Now they got red hair. Yeah. yeah it looks like they were spray, spray painted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A like, gold member. It looks like a smaller, more pale green Hulk. Yeah, they With look long like... hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not fair. Oh, this game's so cheap. It's one of the cheapest games I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, it's well, like five bucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still. Well, what do you got to worry about? You have a certain mode, right? I know, but I'm just saying, that's why I have the mode, because the game is freaking cheap. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you have to fight the second boss here like five times in a row. That's totally unfair. Yeah, so if they can cheat, so can I. Yeah. Oh, I cheat. I use that, um, the ghost trick or whatever on the second level. What ghost trick? Well, if you, it, like, it's, so when you, cl it's when you first are able to climb, and, uh, if they, some of the enemies start spawning, but if you climb back up, go off screen, and then come back, that area where they were, where they stopped moving, you can hit their, like, ghost, basically, and rack up points and get those hearts to increase your skills. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Forgot, I forgot how to do that in level 2. I just beat the boss the old-fashioned way. Yeah, you yeah. have to see hearts anyway, so... Yeah. Really, no point to it. Yeah, so I have to do that, even though that's the, uh... I mean, no point to it. Get their skills better. Yeah, it's like the non-ECW mode way of cheating. Yeah, in-game cheats. I don't count those as... Well, it's cheating, but it's not... Like, super active cheating. Yeah. Whoa! Like I, whoa! Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> yeah. Almost glitched. I wonder if that was in the cartridge or the ROM. <laughs> they can be sure ugly. It the ROM. It's like, I don't know how they can see fighting guys that have their eyes sunk shut. Nah, it's just the style, man. It's just how they look. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing a good job of fighting. Yeah. Oh, give him a headbutt. Headbutt. <laughs> Are we in a Contra stage here? What, because of the skulls? Yeah, and the stones we, and stuff. Here we, here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. Mm. Yes. This should have been Skull Man stage. It looks better. Mm. Instead of the Fred Flintstone Skull Man stage of Mega Man 4. Alright, here we go. Knock him off! Throw him off the edge! Yes. He's down for the count. Yep. Oh, he's like going after you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just stay with you. Those characters look like aliens. Where their eyes look? Hold on, if we see another one here in a minute. Their eyes, look at them alien eyes. I don't know why they add all this platform and stuff to the... You know, Nintendo game here. Because this game is not hard enough. Ah! Ah! -ha. <laughs> nice going. This track right here really. Oh, nice! This track right here really gets you all suspended up. Wait, fail. The suspense. <laughs> suspense. <laughs> Yeah, the music here, like, oh, we're getting close to the final boss here. <laughs> oh, yeah, even though the track was played earlier in the game, but what is? Yeah. Gotta reuse that music, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not common for uh, NES game, NES soundtracks to be recycled in the games back then. It was common. You said? Oh, not common. It's not uncommon. Not uncommon, yeah. Ah, dang it! What? Oh, you did it Whoa. again. I was trying, I don't know, I was trying to... You can edit that out, you know. <laughs> no, only wussies edit stuff out. Who edits? Yeah, what kind of a loser edits? Do it raw. As in money, not raw. <laughs> they need to do some editing. Did you see last week's show? No. The 4D's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard, about, I heard about that, yeah. 
I thought you said the 40s are back. What? what so the VOD villains are wrestling now? <laughs> oh yeah, we know it that. Back. Oh, oh, this oh, 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 oh my god. This is amazing. This is, is BS. This all the time you died in the game. It pissed me off, man. This stage, yeah, has a feel. What? I, I don't even find anybody on this stage. I just skip ahead. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to jump across there. I don't think I even could anyway. Jeez, man, we're gonna get past the stage. Find out, part 26. The trouble with there the we go. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, I don't even know why you bother fighting. Oh, well, before. But now you're just gonna skip them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, they don't like to climb ladders. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh. BS! That was total BS. Look at that, man. Forget total divas. This is total BS right here. That's ridiculous. Fell <laughs> through the ground. How are you going to fall through the ground? See? Yeah. Told this you this game is cheap. More cheaper than... Actually, 52 is broken as it is. The problem is, yeah, this game is supposed to be a beat up not a platformer. Yeah. And they totally screwed up the platform. Yeah, really. All right. Yeah, don't even fight them. Go to the platform. I'm a real man. I want to fight. <laughs> My name is Finley, and I love to fight. Fight, Owens. Fight. Oh no, you gonna fall? There you yeah. go. Ah, dang it! Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my god. See, look at that, that's ridiculous. Now you edit. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I caved in and had to edit. Unbelievable. Well, I caved in and played Cave Story. I fell. Now please get out of here. Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, we're at the final part, the final level here. Here we go. As we fight the American Gladiators. Looks like a the same left. guys we always fought. Oh yeah. yeah they purple. look different. They look no, different, it's... same face. They're purple. Well, they're not, they're red. Oh, well, the screen makes it look like purple. They're not J-Man's girlfriend. What? Oh. No, oh, that hairstyle, though. Yeah. Yes, one of my favorite theme in the game. What, the tile screen? Yes. Yeah. Watch out for spikes! Fitting for the finale. Oh no. Double Abobo! Yep. Watch out for the Adobo! I'm gonna go get Adobe Premiere. Yeah. <laughs> this is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. Well, yeah. yeah, they pretty much recycle enemies here. Yeah. No, they pretty much showcase all of their all their sprites they made, all their efforts. Yep. Yay. It's a boss rush. I'm playing Mega Man now. Except this above was wearing green pants. So it is like the Hulk. Right? Yep. Then he went. Well, no, he wore purple. Oh. Or something, I don't know. Here are these mop heads. Oh, yeah, that's what they are. I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Now that's where a joke is good. Makes good sense. Maybe your face makes sense. Oh, okay. Fine with me. Dang, come on! Knock him off of there! There we go. Oh, wait, that's a brick wall. It looks like there's a pit over there, like... You know what I'm talking about? The way it looks? I guess, yeah, like there's an yeah, edge. Yeah, it looks like a hole. Yeah, look at Edge! And then he didn't fall over at Flame. Well, here comes these ugly guys again with the eyes sunk shut. Yeah, Dang, that was easy! <laughs> oh shoot! Here's Star oh, Soldier she now. got the original enemy. Star Soldier now? Oh no. No, it, this, this is uh, pre Mr. X. Yeah. Yeah, this fight was so cheap, this guy comes out with a gun. Was it, uh, without cheating, was it one hit kill? No, he's just, just it annoying. It does take off a lot of damage, though. Yeah. 
So this is where Renegade started from, the final boss was the guy with the gun? No. The Renegade came out first. It yeah. did? Yeah. yeah! So I guess Double Dragon ripped off. Well, I mean, no, it's, 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 it's the same tech company. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but they ripped off each other. What losers they're do that? They're using their own assets. How dare they rip off each other? Capcom don't do that. <laughs> Capcom never does that. Take me five. Yes. You That's the, the game. Wait a minute. Let's do a Russian review. Oh wait. Oh man, I gotta fight Marcus Bagwell. Where's his tag team partner Scotty Riggs at? <laughs> I fight the American males here. Yeah. yeah. So this is why we couldn't have a two-player game. Yeah. We gotta be all creative with our storyline. Yeah. Man, it's not a two-player. Why don't we have it as the end boss? Is your brother? Yeah, I don't get, what is the story of that right here like? Is it just a clone of Jimmy, or is it, did Jimmy really turn on Billy within the team up again in part two? I think he was originally supposed to be the Shadow Master, or something like that. Huh. Wait, so... He, he virtually got corrupted and got part of a crime syndicate because he wanted some power or something. And then they found out that he had a brother. So he decided, all right, I'm gonna be a good guy. That's weird. A complicated yep. storyline. Yep. And you pulled him. Yep. And oh, no panty shot. Boo. So now I rescue Billy's girlfriend. What? I thought we were rescuing the cat under the table. Uh. Yeah, it looks like pretty well done cat quarters. Holy crap. Before yeah. the arcade, she was like chained to a wall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Well, then that is the end of Double Dragon. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! What the heck, <laughs> what the heck is going here? What's going on here? What is going here? What is gaming going going on here? It's gone. What? Okay, you I got think that we're, be, we're being attacked by the gaming glitch gremlin here. That's what you get for using ECW mode. I guess this did not happen in the cartridge, did it? No. no. Yes, this happened in the cartridge. <laughs> oh look, I can pause the ending. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! What the heck is oh! this? This is amazing! This is like it's secret like ending. Hey, train! Give me a glitch! Come in here! Hey, hey, glitch! 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 What the hell does it look like? It's a, it's a Shadow War- No, you don't get it. It's a Shadow Warriors. Because this is Double Dragon. I fail. I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh and, a, and a bottom screen is just glitching out. Yeah. Glitch! Glitch! Oh, tell, oh, I don't want to be here! Another. Man, oh. Please tell me there's another. There's another version. I want another. Whoa. You pause again. I pause it again, yeah. I'm trying, to, tell me. trying to make something happen here. Whoa, wait a minute. No. Oh, you just hit the reset Dang button. it! It's going back to the normal ending. Ugh. That's cool that you can replay it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, that was the Could trick. Did you do that in the cartridge? No. no. So what happens after this? The credits, or is this it? It just goes back it. to the title screen. Okay. It was a very short ending. Oh, wow. Very anti-climatic. Well, let's Tick. see what happens next here. And nothing. That is it. Oh, uh, actually, so, well, it did happen. It went to the same glitches over and over again, and I said, forget it, and then... <laughs> So anyway, that's the end of Glitch Dragon for the NES. Um, yeah, I mean, I did have some fun playing this game back then, but didn't really get into it fully. Never got past Mission 3. Uh, when I went and first went inside the walls, uh, that was the farthest I ever got as a kid. And so to this day, I can never beat this game legit. And so but I thought it would be fun to do SC2KLP of it in ECW mode and showcase the full game, which is what we did here. So, I mean, the game is not bad, but it's definitely not as good not as good as Double Dragon 2. And I think in some ways it might be kind of better than 3, though. 3 was eh. But this is uh, it's definitely not a bad game, but it could have been much better. I don't know why they didn't put two players in the game. It's kind of lame. It reminds me of Final Fight for the Super Nintendo. Why is it one player? Why not make it two player? That makes no sense. And they can't tell me, oh, in a none of memory. I know. So I don't, they have no logical reason for not having this game in two player mode. So th since there's no two player mode, I just put it in ECW mode and beat it all by myself. And the soundtrack is very good in the game. Pretty catchy. 
Controls, okay, except for the platformer controls. And as you saw, I was getting screwed over in the final stage there. That was BS. Uh, replay value is okay. Um, so overall, this game is not bad, but it's not great either. I would probably have to give this game, I would say maybe a 6 out of 10. We got Alrighty. Yeah, I, I like Double Dragon. It was, uh, it was one of the first NES games I owned uh, when I started collecting. And, uh, def yeah, it's it's a classic in that it was, you know, a staple for, like, the NES, like, one of the well-known beat-em-ups. But definitely it's not as good as two. It certainly hasn't aged well with certain parts that you have to get through, like, without, like, a cheat code or anything. And, of course, the platforming is just weird. It's like that... Totally that just that thing where developers put in like something in a game where it shouldn't be a part of like the shouldn't stray away from the main gameplay, but overall the 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 game is has memorable levels and it is fun beating the beating everyone up. The uh, the soundtrack is, you know, really really great, you know. Has to be expected from basically any most any any NES game or from Technos and of course it gets my approval. Uh, who, who composed it? Uh, I think it was Kaz Kazuni Yama. Uh, I can't think of the name right yeah, now. That guy. That person. <laughs> they, uh, it's KY for the initials, but uh, I got KY Jelly. No, KY Jelly. Yeah, but it's a little bit too difficult for my liking. Or I like that difficulty, but sometimes it's BS. Like I think it was yeah at the beginning of the video, the level that it's where the uh, or the yeah the level where there's pla the the pillars are like coming out of the walls and you have to like avoid them with timing and that is usually my Achilles heel. That's where I like die the most whenever I play this game, which is stupid. It's like why does it have to be something that isn't even really a part of the game that kills me instead of like the enemies, but whatever. Yeah. Overall, Double Dragon's a classic. Sometimes it's a bit too cheap for its own good or for the sake of difficulty. But you know, still good in a classic nonetheless, but uh, I'll probably have to give it the same, uh, about a 6 out of 10. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Star Soldier? Oh, boy. Yeah, I just remember getting this game as a kid and being super excited because I played the original arcade back at my old 7-Eleven, probably a few quarters in, and just being very impressed by the arcade action, the fluid gameplay, the realistic street fight in, you know, it didn't hold anything back. You know, you could saw a girl's underpants, so you can beat up tons of people, pick up weapons, people are shooting at you, people are stabbing one another. It was very violent, it was very gory. And what we get on the original Nintendo, some that was heavily censored, some that didn't even play like the arcade game. They took out the two player mode. A lot of the levels were ended kinda of strangely. And a whole bunch of platform in that doesn't feel like it belongs in there because, all right, I want to make sure I made this perfect jump. I want to tiptoe on the edge of the platform, but oh no, Billy Lee says, oh, I'm just going to fall over and die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The game has some nice visuals and some great music for the NES. And, you know, if it was a standalone game, and not called Double Dragon, maybe I would forgive it, but this was based on the arcade game. And hell, even the original artwork, it shows Billy and Jimmy Lee standing together, fighting enemies together. Yet, when you play the game, oh, they're enemies for some reason. What? Yeah. At least make the right cover art for your game. Right. Tetos or Trade West or whoever. And because of this... It's still a good game, but I was just heavy disappointed when I was a kid, and I gave it 50 cents out of 100. Mm, all right. Mm. So that is the end of Single Dragon for the NES. So with that said, we're out of here. Hope you guys have a happy new year. I'm Ron Moore. The wee guy. 2015, baby. Hoverboards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flying cars. Woo-hoo-hoo. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Let's play Back to the Future 2 and 3. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Till then, God bless. Take care. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. I haven't ended yet. I forgot about that. That's my job.
<laughs> oh. I guess this is why I'm single. Dragon. Yeah. 